Okay, in this example, we're going to look at what you have, what to do when you have on the expected value and the variance of a linear transform. So here's the question: I'm Going to build a computer. The cost is made of parts. The time to build. The parts cost one thousand two hundred. Well, the build costs fifty dollars per hour. It's known the expected time to build is one point five hours. The variance of the time to build is thirty minutes. So that the time to build the computer denoted by T and the cost of the build be denoted by C. Write an equation of the cost in terms of the time. <coughs> it's easy enough. The cost is going to be well, first of all, we have the parts, plus we're going to have to pay for the labour, which is going to be 50 times whatever the time is. That's our equation. Okay, what is the expected value of C? So here we've got a linear transformation. We've got a random variable T, and we're multiplying it by a constant, and then we're adding a constant. So if you look at this cheat sheet, if you want the expected value of a linear combination, so here's the constant in front of our random variable, and here's the bit we're adding. Or you can just write that as the bit that we add, plus the constant times the expected value of x. So, if we write that, we know that the expected value of c equals the expected value of 1,200 plus 50t, which equals 1,200 plus 50 times the expected value of t. So that's 1,200 plus 50 times. So what's the expected value? We're told that the expected time to build is 1.5. So the expected value of t is 1.5. Which equals Okay, here's done already. The mean is 1,200 plus 1.5 times 50, so it's 1,275. Like that. Okay, what's the standard deviation C? Well, the standard deviation, remember, is just the square root of the variance, so we'll work out the variance. So we need an equation for the variance of C. Right back here, you can see that if we've got the variance of a linear transform, basically we ignore the a, we take the coefficient in front of the random variable, we square it and times by the variance of x. So, start by doing the variance first. So the variance of c equals the variance of, again, 1, 2, uh, plus 50 which by using that equation before it's just going to be 50 squared times the variance of t equals the variance of t we're told the variance of the time to the build is 30 minutes so I have to do that calculation so it's going to be 50 squared times 0.5 because the whole thing we've got up here is in hours and this is in minutes. So 50 squared times 0.05. Here is the variance is 50 squared times 0.5 which is 1 to 50. So that equals 1 to 50. And the final reaction on the standard deviation, so the standard deviation of C equals square root of 1250, which equals its square root of V is 35.3535. T is known to have a normal distribution, what's the probability that the cost will be greater than 1,300? 
So we've got a T here and we've got a linear combination of T. If T is a normal random variable, then a linear combination of a normal random variable is also a normal random variable. What that means is that C is a normal random variable. So we know that C will be normally distributed with, well, what's the mean of this? Well, we just calculated the mean. It's 1, 2, 7, 5. And the variance is 1, 2, 5, 0. Oh. So that's its um, distribution. And what do you want? We want the probability that C is greater than 1, 3, 0. Oh. So, here's our diagram, here's our, I've got x here, but it's the cost. Here's your normal distribution, we want 130, so we want greater than we want this area here. Remember from before, MATLAB gives you to the left, so what I'll do is I will calculate the CDF, which is zero to the left at this point, and go 1 well, minus that, and that will give us the area greater. So this equals 1 minus the probability that C is less than 1, 3, 0, which equals, so that's 1 minus, we want the norm, CDF, all we want is 1, 3, 0, 0. the mean is 1, 2, 7, 5, and sigma is 35. Five, five, three. And there's your answer. So I'll put that in. That equals that. Done. See you next time.